Uh, we lost to a really, 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 really good basketball team today. And uh, um, I think there's um, – uh, that starts with their perimeter play, starts with their guards. Um, Javon Carter is – Maybe one of the most underrated players in our conference. Uh, nobody talks about him when they talk about some of the elite guards. Um, he, he's very good. And uh, he, he was on full display today, 15 points, six assists, four steals, one turnover. And um, uh, when, when you're getting that kind of uh, leadership, uh, he was constantly talking, he was constantly clapping. Um, he was he was directing traffic. Uh, boy, it's really really stood out, and uh, I thought he was um, he was tremendous. Uh, I thought the the Canet uh, or however you pronounce his name, the the big kid, the big freshman, um, was fabulous in the first half, and I thought he was a difference maker. Um, and then. The stretch that probably bothers me more than anything was the there was a stretch where they got every loose ball. There were four, five, six possessions. Um, I take pride in that as a coach that our team gets those. And we watched the ball go out of bounds. They didn't. They ran and got it. We assumed that it was going out of bounds, and uh, uh, we, we've got to clean that stuff up. And we'll get that stuff cleaned up. Uh, but uh, uh, they're very, very good. That was on full display today. They were ready to play. And, um, um, you know, their press makes the game ugly. It's never going to be pretty against them. You have to make basketball plays. And <clears throat> uh, I didn't think we guarded uh, very well. But again, I'm going to give uh, Juwan Carter a ton of credit for, for um, his ability to get them organized and into what they wanted to run. And 24 assists is. Uh, uh, too many against us. Coach, um, you said prior to this game that um, you wouldn't use the season opener against West Virginia as a litmus test for your team. Do you still feel the same way after the outcome tonight? Absolutely. It's one game. We've got 17 more in conference play. But they, they, they make you see things differently. They, it's not about X's and O's and how pretty your offense looks and, you know, this or that. It's about toughness. It's about getting punched. And, and I use that term and smacked in smacked in, in the jaw. And how do you respond? And um, they speed you up. They create an anxiety and, and, and a feeling of being uncomfortable. How do you handle that? Um, like I said, Something's okay. Um, we got a ways to go. We bailed out of four charges in the first half. We, we didn't. We haven't been doing that against Corpus Christi and those teams. We did today, and those are things that you can't do. We, we, we're one of the leading free throw shooting teams in the country, and we shot sixty percent today against good teams when it's hard when it's really, really, really hard and things aren't going your way, you have to make those plays and make, and make those free throws. I got to do a better job of demanding toughness, demanding that from them, uh, not accepting that, and we'll get there. We'll get there. Coach, in the first half, did it seem like it was almost youth versus experience at times? With oh, their experience? they were a three seed in last year's tournament. A three. Okay, they, I think they were five in the power ranking last year in the country. Now, Devin Williams is gone, but that group of front court guys is better than the group that they had last year. They do things much better. They're, they're much more sound. Um, their perimeter guys are a year of, full of experience. We turned that team over 22 times last year. That team, I don't, I, I'll be shocked anybody turns them over that many times again. More experience. That is a terrific basketball team. And uh, youth, physicality, you know, I think it's, you know, I, those, are th those are things that, that uh, they brought to the table and, and uh, we're going to be fine. Those freshmen, it was good, good for them to get a, little, get a little taste of it and they all, did, they all had their moments. But it's also, uh, uh, it, it's a different arena 
to play in when you play them. So we'll be fine. In a lot of ways, you're trying to build you know, that pressing culture here. Do you think that this game more than ever was a huge learning experience for them to see it playing against it? Yeah, and again, we do it differently. I, I was disappointed in our, in our, in our half-court defense. That's what's more bothersome is and and you know you can't give would we get that rebounded one um it it it's it's the breakdowns that we have to clean up you know it's rotational breakdowns that we have we get beat off the dribble and we rotate Mitchell Solomon covers a lot of mistakes for for guys but then the backside guy doesn't help his man and those are things that we had cleaned up, and we got exp they for whatever reason today, we didn't do some of those things. The charges, the loose balls, every scrum seemed to be them coming up with it. Give give that guy with 800 plus wins a lot of credit because he demands that they do it, and they did it better than we did today. Was it nice seeing the arena full again? I did something today that I have yet to do for any other game, and I, I don't. I'm, I'm not very good before games. I, I, I don't know. I guess I don't know what to do with myself sitting back there. I know I don't like coming out and watching the other teams. I don't like watching warm ups. Um, it's Friday afternoon. I'm not into soap operas and all that. So um, I kept going to walking out of the coach's locker room, and I kept opening the door. And I kept looking. And when I walked out, it was, it's one of the great feelings I've had as, as a head coach. It, comparable with NCAA tournament wins and all of that. It, that, that is awesome. And th to me, that's what Oklahoma State basketball is. It's not about a coach or it's not about a player. or it, it's, it's, it's about a family. And it's about a culture of, of fans that – uh, are the reason I wanted to be the coach here. That's Oklahoma State basketball. And that's what, hey, we got beat today. We got beat today. You know what? We're going to win a lot of games. And, 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 and they're going to be a part of it. Um, that, was, that, was, that was very special. And to do it with no students, and for those students who came back, um, greatly appreciated. And, and uh, um, that's Oklahoma State basketball. That's going to be Cowboy basketball for, for, for many years. How would you assess the way um, Leighton played today? Uh, Leighton was really good in terms of I thought he had an aggression about him. I thought he had a, uh, a tenacity. Um, I, it's the first game that I thought that he is – and I'm going to use this term, a little bit reckless in a positive way. He's just let himself go. He's, he's, he's pl he, he just played. He didn't, he didn't hesitate. Uh, he was aggressive on the boards, especially in the first half. Um, Leighton's a really good player. And, and we've got to get Leighton um, playing with that kind of personality on the glass all the time. And, you know, it's, it's a, um, you know, 17 points, you know, we need him to we need him to share the ball a little bit at times, but no turnovers. It's a pretty good night and uh you know, seven rebounds our leading rebounder. Pretty How much was it to him back today? Well, and and he's still he's still not 100% and he's still fighting a little of the um effects of really not being able to practice and uh uh missing a game at at um uh, versus Corpus, and then the break, and 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 really just kind of going a day. Um, he's still not 100. percent We miss Cam. There's no question. He's an he's an elite athlete. He's got a physical presence about him. Uh, we had him out there a little bit, and uh, you know we've we've got to have him uh, out there uh, and and ready to go because he, he he can contribute so much, especially on the glass for us. Thank you. Thanks, guys.
how to play since, I mean, you just, you had to just come out better and play. And I feel like, I feel like we did, we just didn't come out intensity as we usually do. Do you feel like at certain points of the, of the game, the game kind of got a little bit too fast for you guys? Um, not really, because we like to play fast. Um, I mean, it just got ahead. We just turned over the ball too many times at one point. I mean, but uh, we was coming back. We was chipping away, but it just got a, got ahead of us. What about playing against them makes it so difficult to, to try to get some consistency going? Uh, just with uh, them being out of control, just the way they the way they press and just jump off a man at any time uh, makes it kind of hard just to run plays. So, I mean, you just got to be ready for it. Um, I think we came out to a little slow start. Um, I mean, we fought back throughout the game, but I just think our our intensity wasn't there all the way. I mean, we were locked in, I felt like, but like Juwan said, their chaos created a lot of havoc for us and um, turnovers like easy baskets for them. And that's kind of our style of play too. And we weren't turning them over as much as we thought we should have, so. Scoring the ball, you kind of struggled early on in the season. Is this what you needed a big game like this to get your shot going? Uh, I mean, I just I, I know I'm capable capable of doing it. Just, just games like this, you just want to come out on the outcome and on the win loss column with a win. But I mean, my teammates are finding me. But like I said, the games like this, you want to come out with a win regardless how many points you score. What did you guys think of the atmosphere tonight? Oh, it was great. Yeah. I mean, I. As long as I've been here, that's the best crowd I've ever been a part of. And I just want to thank them so much, especially at a time like this where we're out of school and uh, Christmas break. People are wanting to be with their families and they come and support us like that. I mean, that's that means the world to me. And I just want to thank the fans. Thank you. Anything else, guys? Thank you, gentlemen.